welcome back to The Expanse. This is Season 2, Episode 1, entitled Safe. Last season, the big takeaway, Holden and company uh, and Miller got hooked up, All invest, both of them investigating two sides of the same mystery, so to speak. Uh, they were looking for Julie Mao, and the crew was trying to find out who blew up the Canterbury and then uh, the Martian ship. And then, uh, you know, their stories combined. They met on Eros. The pro... I was going to say probiotic, but that's that's not it. The little, uh, the, the, the blue, the blue... It seems to be viral in nature, but then it's also, there's like a an animal component to it. But uh, Julie's family made it. They introduced her dad at the end of last season. She didn't want it used against the Belters. She ended up dying along with her and I believe their OPA people. Fred Fred Miller, or was it Fred Johnson? Fred Johnson. Who's Fred Miller? It was like, I have nothing to do with any of this shit going on. All those ships that came from Earth had that drive. Don't look at me. But all those ships went to Tycho as well, so... Uh, don't worry, in editing, I shut myself up and listened to what I talked over and missed, so... Uh, I'll, I'll catch it all. I like to figure it out on the fly. I don't take any notes, so... That's just me, and let's get on with it. Here we go. Mars! The Martian Congressional Republic. This is training. It's gotta be. Who else would be on Mars fighting Martians? They have little wrist guns. I like that. They just kind of point. That makes sense. Kind of. Like Mega Man. Countermeasures? Best course time by almost three minutes. Good work. Best man. course time, yep. Rumor is you're heading to Phoebe Station, so say your goodbyes and kiss your mommy. Uh oh. It's gonna be a long trip. Phoebe Station, that's where uh, the weapon was made. Where did that gunny? Gunny? Gunnery Sergeant Draper. That is the youngest gunny I've ever seen. Martian Marine Corps embedding. An MC. Oh shit. Someday. So, other than being blasted by 50 times the lethal limit of radiation, you're doing surprisingly well. Jesus. Who knows? Maybe you'll develop superpowers that you can use. That'd be perfect for you. Well, he's already a genetic cocktail of superiorness, right? Nightmare sequence, come on. Tacos! Tacos! Weird though, if Naomi is OPA, that she didn't. Was was pretty indifferent Temp to a Julie Mao and all That's that. That's a cryogenic like, chamber of the call. What happen if one of us infected? We'll cross that bridge if we get to it. Yeah. You mean you're gonna space us? I think maybe you wanna space us. Whether we test positive or not. Give him your arm and shut oh. your mouth. Yeah, really. I'll space right. myself. Nobody is. Sort of left your ass on the station. We are belters. We don't like anyone but ourselves. Shoot him. Da da da. Look at that. All clear. Sit your ass down, Jesse. I just needed a yo or a bitch in there. Nobody gives a shit about a hundred thousand belters. A uh, hundred thousand? For it. Jesus. That's a lot. Thanks for the lift. Yeah, it's a mutual and survival. And cancer. And <laughs> yeah, the detective was a lot more sick or sick quicker on arrows, and he doesn't seem to be as well in recovery. That's just because he's just a normal dude, you know. What what is frozen in this in this thing? Is that the fucking the virus thing that was? Adam, did I... Hello. There's drones all over the place. Hello. Hold on, I can't. Leave the area. Archangel is secure. These are lab notes. The only way to see what it's evolving into is by feeding it a larger biomass. He's talking about Eros. Did he just say what I think he said? He yeah. said extrasolar object. First proof of extraterrestrial life. Yeah, and it's just more fuck death. Tycho first. Cab's right. Nobody asks you no neck. <laughs> no neck. The proto molecule. He shot your friend. Oh, that's probably Simple. why he's a little. Stick it on the end of a torpedo and we fire into the sun. Yeah, that'll do it. Hang on. 
What if there was a way to use that sample to create a vaccine? Then we'll hide it. Where? Out here. The Martian flag and the Statue of Liberty. How come everyone won't even be a real fight? How come everyone still has accents shit? if they've been Martian on Mars? Screens, are they... So not all Martians are lieutenant. born there. It's interesting. The gunny is like a twenty-year-old girl, and the lieutenant is like Up a. Here. It's it's the other way around. Lieutenants are young, and gunnies are old. You pal, Simi. You're upset about that, right? I had nothing against him, and when your pal pulled a gun. Might as well shot himself. If you need to square up, you know where I am. Otherwise, you should move on because you're poisoning the air. Use a distraction snowball. You throw one up in the air and everyone looks at him and you fucking pelt someone with the, the hard one. He punched me. I told him to stay down. Ow. Okay. Yeah, you're an older, irradiated, messed up implants, freaking love struck fired from your organization ramble 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 do you concur <sighs> which one i do she doesn't though she said she'd have to last season she said she'd play the part with the old grudge so she she's playing along for now Patchouli. I wake up some nights and I see her standing right there. <laughs> I know it's bullshit, but... <sighs> She's right there. Why would Earth suddenly care about Phoebe Station? Must be something there they don't want us to find. They're going everywhere, Under no though. circumstances are we to allow Phoebe to fall under UN control. Oh, shit. Earth is just Prepare going to different places to... <sighs> Good to see you, Kotiar. Asher from uh, it was me, would you have come? from Spartacus. Whatever your needs, you Asher provides. The last time I... your first straight spy with a Robin Hood complex. You uh. like screwing over the powerful to help the little guy. You have skills which I thought might be useful someday. Who are the players? Put it out there. Under Secretary Enright. Christ. I assume I did. Do they suspect you? If they did, I'd be dead already. I don't have time to waste. I need a spy. Are you in or out? Do you like space gladiator movies? <laughs> I would love those. People fighting in zero G and shit. I can only imagine what you saw in Eros. Or what it was like to nearly die that way. Sam can't travel through space though, there's no we way. We did not choose this, but this is our fight now. Or maybe with the mass touching, there's enough vibration. The ones who know what's going on down there. Like tin cans on a string. Uh, just gonna stash this out here in space. Oh, Takes his suit off and his boner pops out. OP ain't gonna give it to you. Uh, Camera off. <sighs> In route to Phoebe Station. What the hell? It's a ground operation. Why are we firing missiles? Commander, I forgot to check with us first, Private. Did they you fire at the bed. Nathan Hale? That the MCR and Shiraco fired five missiles in response to the Nathan Hale's hard burn towards Phoebe. Phoebe may be the spark, but it will not end there. The captain of the Hill knows what's at stake. He's a man of restraint. He's one of our finest. You know Captain Givgini? Since he was a little know-it-all at the academy debating me in philosophy. You didn't know we shared Captain Givgini as a friend? An exceptional man. Yes. Is she bluffing? We never went to the academy. Oh, she was! <laughs> oh man, she is like Tywin. I swear to God, she's good. Oh, they could be blowing up BB. The Nathan Hale has not fired on the Scirocco. Their missiles were not intended for us. The Martians were targeting CB research station, which sustained multiple direct hits. The ice moon fractured under the barrage and the fragment spiraled into Saturn. It's completely gone. Hey, he so just... That, they could use a meal. Hungry. 
Granted, we had to uh, improvise a little bit without any real cheese or wheat or tomatoes or anything. Damn, Alex, you're getting us really excited about this lasagna. Don't go judging it before you taste it, Arthur. It's not bad, Marshall. You know, I remember. <laughs> I think I know that governor. <laughs> he gave me utensils. He's gonna stab him. This guy was. They wanted something on Phoebe, and we vaporized it. I'd say the fight's coming soon enough. I hope you're wrong. Earth knows the price of escalation as well as we do. Once Earth is out of the picture, then they can focus on building Mars completely instead of all these resources into their fleets and. Dreamer. I've got a picture of uh, what Mars would look like if it was watered and greened. Alright, that's the end of the first episode. It's good to be back. So, uh, let's see. We got to meet some Martians in training. Got to see a little bit of Mars and uh, what they're about. Some of the younger ones are very gung-ho, but you know, what are you going to do? It was weird though to me that, I'm sorry if I'm yelling, it was weird though to me that even the ones that came to Mars as a child still had their accent. Like, sh well, shouldn't accents drop if, if they were young enough? Earth, the UN, whoever, was sending ships to all the stations that they could, basically spreading out. And then, but Mars was going to this particular one, to Phoebe Station. So Earth, Earth thought Mars is going to hide shit, but to Mars, they, you know, each side thought the other side was up to something. But then Mars, uh, you know, neutralized the threat. They blew up the they blew up that little station base. Yeah, Holden and Miller getting over the radiation sickness, getting it back together. Oh, the Miller and Amos trying to have a conversation. Uh, stay down, stay down. I told them to stay down. See, they had some of the proto molecule, and then they stashed it out on an abandoned asteroid mining facility. I don't know. Hopefully it's safe there, or, or hope, maybe they come back, maybe it's used way down the line, I don't know, but it's there. Uh, Naomi and Holden getting it together, getting it on in the airlock. <laughs> Why not, right? Um, and then they all had lasagna, so happy ending, I suppose. Alright, that's going to do it for me for now. It's good to be back in the expanse. Going to jump right into the second episode, so thanks again for being here and spending your time. I hope you enjoyed, and goodbye.